Victor Uniform 2, Mike Uniform, Tango. Calling Victor Uniform 2, Tango, Charlie Tango. This is not a broadcasting service, but the amateur radio tuning signals during disasters. May 2018, hailstorms were wrecking havoc in the northern parts of India. To take a stock of the situation, the ham radio operator in New Delhi tuned to the radio Amwala. He was instantly connected to the ham in Chandigarh. This is a Victor Uniform 2, Mike Uniform Echo at New Delhi. Over. Roger, my call is Victor Uniform number 2, Zulu, Zulu Alpha. And my duty is Chandigarh. And during the recent uh, storm uh, that was in the North India. I have seen many uh, casualties taking place in UP and uh, Is there any heavy damage in your location in uh, Chandigarh area? But I would like to know the situation there. Uh, we are to Mike United Echo, we are to Zulu Zulu Alpha returning. No, no major damage in this area. Fortunately, not much damage. Thank you very much. 73. VU2 Zulu Zulu Alpha uh, at Chandigarh. This is Victor Uniform 2. Mike Uniform Echo at New Delhi. Clear. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, communication to Andaman, mainland to Andaman, it failed because that time telephones were totally down, cell phone networks were down. So during that time, only through ham radio we communicated. A group of hams were there at Andaman and Nicobar Island and uh, we communicated from the mainland, from different parts of India because there are people who went there as tourists and there are some people who were working there so their families approached the hams uh, asking for welfare about those people and even the team of doctors who went to Andaman and Nicobar Island when they required some medicines or some relief materials they used to convey those information through hams only the term may sound novel to many, but ham or amateur radio operators are perhaps world's first social networkers dating back to nearly 116 years. Simply put, ham radio operators a global community of licensed people who use radio frequencies assigned to the amateur radio service for two-way community. And what is more, today they are able to do so without depending on any governmental or professional service providers. So if a police official is a ham, a doctor is a ham and some NGO who is suppose a relief agency uh, who is working there, the officials also are hams. So we have a common frequency where we can communicate different type of urgent messages for third party. A ham radio operator uses a device called High Frequency Transceiver, combined unit of radio transmitter and receiver. The High Frequency Transceiver can be tuned to different government allotted amateur radio frequencies. Different type of modulation techniques are used by ham, of which amplitude modulated single side band suppressed carrier voice transmission is the most common mode of communication as with very low power these devices can transmit across the world using an invisible layer in earth's atmosphere which is known as ionosphere the ionosphere is a layer of charged particles which extends from an altitude of 90 kilometers to 600 kilometers Different layers of the ionosphere transmits different frequencies to different distances depending on the propagation condition at different time of the day which depends on solar radiation. The HF transceiver produces frequencies in the range of 3 to 30 megahertz and uses various modulation techniques. The HF transceiver is connected to an antenna which radiates the modulated radio frequency in the form of electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves containing voice or other digital text information or picture information are radiated all across at the speed of light. These information containing waves are further reflected by ionosphere, the atmospheric layer of charged particles and the waves can reach any part of the world in no time.
the radio frequency is produced once we press a button or when i say hello uh, it will it will be instantly radiated uh, everywhere just as the aircrafts and ships are identified using a call sign hams are identified using the unique radio call sign assigned to them by the government this is a victor united number 2 mike united echo victor united 2 mike united echo In India, the call signs of hams start with the prefix VU2 and VU3. Victor Uniform 2 Alpha Tango NC. This is Victor Uniform 2 Mike Uniform Echo. Roger, my call is Victor Uniform Number 2 Zulu Zulu Alpha. Hams use phonetic while pronouncing their call sign so that the call signs can be correctly copied. For example, a call sign link. VU3MSY would be pronounced as Victor Uniform 3 Mike Sierra Yankee. Hams need to remember the internationally allotted standard phonetics. Victor Uniform 2 Zulu Zulu Alpha. This is Victor Uniform 2 Mike Uniform Echo. This is Victor Uniform 2 Mike Uniform Echo. Do you copy? Victor United Number 2 Mike United Echo. This is Victor United Number 2 Zulu Zulu Alpha returning. These are frequencies like very high frequency that understanding of natural disasters but have also equipped us to effectively deal with them. It is the need of the hour to create awareness among the population about the availability of such technologies. Disasters strike quite unexpectedly and such awareness is crucial to mitigate the damages caused when they do.